Energy efficiency isn't just important for big buildings. This home in Elk, Washington shows how efficient even a small house can be and how that will pay off for owners Pat and Rob and Ricky as they retire here. Their plan was to build a house that we could retire in. Yeah, so single level, not too big, easy to maintain, um, energy efficient. When we talked to Sam, the whole the reason the whole passive house thing came up was we wanted we were interested in geothermal heating. We were interested in energy efficiency because we figure when we retire semi-fixed income, we want to know what our energy costs are going to be and have some control over that. And that's when he said, have you ever heard of passive house design? It generally refers to, by means of passive, less reliance on active systems, meaning machines in buildings that are in, installed to keep us comfortable. There is still an active component in passive house architecture. In other words, there are still machines, but they are much smaller, they're much simpler, and they require just a fraction of the energy to run. Well, if you look in the hallway, you'll see this heating and cooling system. Right here. So it's a Mitsubishi ductless system, and people that have these usually have them in every area of their home that they want to that, heat That's that our, that's our cool. furnace right there. And that is what we have um, for the whole entire house. Because the air is moving around in here and, and circulating so efficiently that just that little thing will heat and cool our whole home. So the biggest piece of equipment that's missing in a passive house mechanical room is, is the furnace. Uh, this is something that was introduced into American construction sometime in the middle of the last century and it was introduced because we were building leaky uninsulated houses. A passive house is super insulated, a passive house is verifiably airtight and we live a modern life with appliances, with lighting, with televisions, with computers, with hot water lines and human body heat and that envelope, that airtight envelope should be able to operate and heat itself without a furnace. This kind of gives you a good example. You can see how, well, feel that heat coming in. You can see how thick the walls are to our house. This is kind of a great shot of, it's like a house within a house. This is all insulated space here. You tilt and turn windows. You open the window. Highway, you hear that? And then all of a sudden you hear Highway 2 out there <laughs> and all the traffic. And then nope. So, then you close the window and then... There's a highway again. <laughs> They tilt open. Tilt and turn windows. Love them. They're so efficient and tight. And then Sam designed these pockets um, so that our window covering just, all, they all just hide away. All these huge fires that's been burning around us. The air quality outside has been just absolutely horrible. Um, haze in the sky, you, can, you know, you're breathing smoke. You walk inside this house and it's a remarkable clean, difference. I mean, crystal clear, clean air. A and remarkable just, difference. Something you don't think about the air when you walk into your home. You just don't. You're 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 breathing. But when we had that horrible, the horrible fires and the smoke was so bad outside, we walked into this house and it was like, wow, unbelievable. <laughs> this is pristine air. Every part of this house is accounted for. There's not any wasted space anywhere. Yeah. And there's, that's, you know, and that's... But there's not one area in this house that feels small either. I mean, it feels like it's a much larger house than it is, I think. And that's, you know, that's all Sam and his, it is. his it, design. Yeah, yeah. That's, all, that's all Sam. Passive house construction generally costs less than 10% more than mainstream construction. There's a variety of trade-offs that are happening. We're spending a great deal less money on the so-called active mechanical systems and there are huge savings there. We can take those savings and apply them to a better building envelope, if you will, the sweater, the doors, the windows. Those things that add cost tend to balance with the things that save cost very nicely. Hiring Sam was the best money spent on this project, honestly. I mean, we would have built a house that wouldn't have felt like this. It would have been bigger than we needed, probably. 
with space, with, with, space <laughs> with space in it that we never would have used. I mean, if you think of some people have big um, houses with big, large rooms, and everybody still gathers in the kitchen or, or in the smaller areas because well, the it's more, more you, comfortable. The whole house gives you that sense of security. It, it does. It's you know, just it um, a good sense of shelter. Yeah, that's the best go. way to say it. Yep. So, yeah, we love it. We love it here. High performance energy efficient buildings come in all sizes, from commercial complexes to small houses. They don't have to be fancy. They just have to work well. And we make sure they do.